the editor of Crux. Right now, the world is on edge, afraid of a possible nuclear confrontation triggered by a crisis uh, around North Korea, and in particular, North Korea's threat to test fire ballistic missiles at the U.S. island territory of Guam. Looked at through Catholic eyes, here are three things you need to know about this critically important story. First, this is not the first time a pope has faced a world afraid of nuclear war. It happened in October 1962 during the Cuban Missile Crisis. At that time, a famous October 25th Vatican radio broadcast by St. John XXIII was later credited both by U.S. President John Kennedy and Soviet Premier Nikita Khrushchev with helping to defuse the crisis. It's a reminder that a deft papal touch at the just right moment sometimes can make an enormous difference. Secondly, Pope Francis has been issuing a string of, ser of eerily similar appeals for peace. In April, for instance, he recalled that a nuclear war would wipe away a good part of humanity, a good part of culture, virtually everything, he said. It remains to be seen if Francis's cries from the heart will have the same impact as those of his famous predecessor. And finally, third, the Vatican is interested in promoting dialogue with North Korea, not simply to defuse the possibility of a nuclear conflict, but also because of the situation uh, facing Christians in the country. It's one of the world's worst pre uh, persecutors of Christians. There are thousands, if not tens of thousands of Christians, including whole families, languishing in hard labor camps. So for a variety of different reasons, the Vatican is interested in promoting healing and reconciliation on the Korean Peninsula. We'll have full coverage of this important story on the Crux site. I'm John Allen, editor of Crux, and I will see you again soon.